side okay uh, actually here I need to add the menu I forgot that let me add that and paste it here and inside this I'm gonna add one more menu like that and item that have ID as logout and name uh, sorry title of the menu item is logout okay so these are the menus that we require and if you notice in the final application that we have the icon for each and every one of these menus right so I'm gonna go to this drawable here and I'm, I'm gonna create the icons for these menu items so we can use the inbuilt uh, icons that Android Studio provide to us so uh, from drawable let's go to the vector asset and here I can start creating a new uh, menu item uh, sorry new icon for the menus so for note I'm gonna search something that's similar to note so maybe calendar uh, event note yeah this one is fine click on ok select next and finish similarly I'm gonna create the icon for all of these notes here so you can go ahead and do that same I'm gonna pause this video and create the notes icon and I'll come back in a sec okay I have created the icons now I'm gonna go to the menu item here and assign the icons for this so to assign the menu icon we can just use this icon properties here click on this little image icon here and now I'm gonna give the menu icons for this menus okay so click ok for add note I'm gonna give the add button that I have here add okay for sync I have created a sync icon okay and similarly for rating I have created one star icon like half star for share app we have the share icon here okay and finally log out and for that I have little key icon here okay so these were the icons that we needed to assign to our navigation drawer menu so finally let's go back to the content main here and I'm gonna add the or recycler view so after the toolbar I'm gonna add the recycler view I'm gonna select the constant for this okay if, if it is displaying like this gray area I uh, that uh, we can just rebuild this application and it should work fine after that okay once the rebuilding is finished the gray area is gone now and I can uh, start uh, customizing this here so I'm gonna set this recycler view and it's constant just below this toolbar okay I'm gonna add others constant as well so 0 0 and 0 okay so let's go back to the activity main here and now I need to change this from constant layout to draw layout for the navigation draw so I'm gonna change that to draw layout okay and here I'm gonna give ID for this draw layout because we are going to use this draw layout in the main activity so let give the let's give the ID as a draw and inside this I'm gonna include the navigation uh, inside this I'm gonna include the content main that we have created so I'm gonna include that here using the include at XML tag and uh, specify the height and the width for the include layout and uh, let's give both as a match parent and finally layout that is content main yeah okay so I'm gonna close this now finally after this I'm gonna add the navigation view that will uh, help us to display the navigation header and the navigation menu in the navigation draw so give the match parent and hide each uh, match parent as well now I'm gonna include the menu that we have already that is nav menu and the header is nav header so we have somewhere here yes this is the header that we want okay and you can see the preview in the uh, right hand side there that is how our draw menu is going to look like and that's exactly what we want and we also need to add few more properties here to be able to use this uh, navigation drawer in our main activity that is fit system window true as well as we need to set the gravity because by default it's going to display into the main activity so we want this to this menu to be hidden in the right side 
our left side so that when we swipe from the left to right it's going to uh, open up itself or when we click on the navigation draw it's going to show up itself from the left side so to get that kind of effect we need to hide this to the left side so we can do that uh, by using the android gravity layout gravity property so android layout gravity and we're going to set that to the start and as soon as i set this gravity to start it's going to it's going to be hidden from the main activity okay and finally i'm also going to give the id for this nav view okay so this is the id for the navigation view so now we have all the required resources for this so i'm gonna go here in the style and add one more theme here extend this base theme to get the no action bar theme because since we want to we want to use the custom layout here uh, custom toolbar because that we have created here so we cannot use default theme there because if we use default theme it's going to uh, try to load the default theme and we already have the custom toolbar th toolbar with us it's gonna give us some error so to avoid that i'm gonna create new theme here no action bar and change this from dark action bar to no action bar and now i'm gonna apply this to the main activity using the android manifest file so here in the main activity i'm gonna apply the theme that is no action bar okay we are doing this to avoid some error but you can go ahead and try running this application without giving this um, no action bar theme and you'll find out that what kind of error it is giving but i don't want to do that so i'm just going to apply this no action bar to our main activity right now so now let's open the main activity and set up our navigation draw here first of all i'm gonna create the variables for all the layout that we have created that is draw layout draw layout we need action bar toggle draw toggle we need navigation view okay now inside the on create i'm gonna assign the resources for these so draw layout find view by id draw and navigation view r.id.navview and i'm gonna assign, uh, create the object for action bar toggle here action bar draw toggle so new action bar draw toggle and inside this we need to pass few parameters that is current context where we want to have this uh, action bar toggle and uh, draw layout we need to pass the draw layout so which is the layout that we want to toggle when the action bar button hamburger sign is clicked and uh, and where we want to display the hamburger sign so toolbar uh, we need to have the toolbar variable here toolbar resource layout which i have not created yet so i'm gonna go here and create toolbar and make sure it is android x toolbar and toolbar equals to find view id r dot id and the id of toolbar is toolbar and finally i'm gonna set the support action bar here toolbar okay now we have this toolbar variable resources with us now i'm gonna specify two more uh, toggle open and close resource uh, string resource here so we need this string resources so open and r dot string dot close to toggle the navigation draw so it will specify that if navigation draw is open or close and based on that we are going to action bar toggle is going to do some perform some activity like opening the navigation draw or closing the navigation draw so, but you can see uh, we don't have this resource with us so i'm going to create that by using alt enter and create the new resource open similarly for the close click alt enter create new res string resource and give the value as the close okay now we need to now i'm gonna set the draw listener for our draw layout so add draw listener to our toggle that we have created right now and and i'm gonna enable the hamburger sign in the toolbar 
so i can do that by using toggle and set draw in indicator enable to true and that will enable the hamburger sign in the toolbar and finally i'm gonna sync the state it's going to sync the state to the action bar toggle that uh, generally mean it's going to give the uh, it's going to inform the action bar toggle that navigation drawer is open or closed currently okay so state of that okay so so far so good it is done so now i can actually run this applications and we'll see if the uh, navigation drawer is working correctly or not so i hope i have implemented everything uh, accordingly here so if not we'll find out once we run this application so let me run these applications now okay while building the applications i got this error and if you have copied the same source code from the given link then you you are you are going to get this uh, error too so we need to fix this so uh, this font is not created yet so let's go to the design part and create this font okay let's go here select this and i'm going to create that font scroll down go to more font and i think that is this one so click okay and that should uh, eliminate that error okay here also yeah it's working fine now we can run this application again and it's going to work okay the application is running and you can see we have the navigation draw here but this is in black color we'll fix that in a second and you can see it is working and even if i close this and swipe from the left to right it is opening and but uh, its buttons are not working because we have not implemented that yet and you can also notice this banner is little bit bigger than I expected it to be. So I'm going to go back to the content me, uh, nav header and fix that. And uh, instead of giving the 250 dp as the height, I'm going to give 200 dp. And let's see how it looks. Okay, I think 200 is fine. So if I run this again, okay, oh, now it is fine now it's okay uh, design looks fine now so let's go ahead and fix these fire notes are uh, displaying in black so that can be fixed by using the uh, toolbar here so i'm gonna set the different theme for this toolbar because when you use no action bar toolbar it's going to hide the action bar and it's going to set the uh, you know accent color as the black color so that's why it was displaying the black color so i can I set another theme here and that will display the white color so let me set this theme as theme overlay that i've compared the dark and if i run this application now it should display the color in white okay now it is displaying in white and that is the exactly kind of design we wanted okay guys so i'm gonna see you in the next video in the next part so in this part we just uh, added the navigation drawer and we added the we connected our application to the firebase and from the next uh, from the next lecture or we, from the next lecture in the series we're going to uh, actually start the programming the note and the other logic that we need. okay so i hope to see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next video bye bye have a good day